We have three more items to get through this evening. Next on our list is the DBA Legislative Awards. Would Chad Zuliger, Director of Government Affairs at DBA, and Amy Penterman join me on stage to help present these awards? Please welcome Chad and Amy. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I would like to call up to the stage Senator Joan Balweg and Representative Tony Kurtz. Getting to work in our state capitol is quite an experience. It's a great privilege to carry DBA members' priorities and concerns into the capitol with a chance to work toward a solution. What's also special is the people I get to work with on your behalf. Tonight I have the honor of recognizing not one, but two lawmakers who have had a significant impact in furthering DBA policy and budget priorities. The two superior performers I'm referring to are recipients of DBA's Legislative Champion Award for the 2021 and 2022 legislative session. Senator Joan Balwig represents the 14th Senate District located in South Central Wisconsin. Her district includes portions of Columbia, Marquette, Green Lake, Adams, and Fond du Lac counties. Senator Balwig serves as chairman of the Senate Agriculture and Tourism Committee and is a member of the state's important budget writing joint committee on finance. Representative Tony Kurtz serves as the 50th Assembly District Representative. The 50th District includes portions of Sauk, Juneau, Vernon, and Richland counties. Representative Kurtz also holds a seat on the Joint Committee on Finance. Last session, Senator Balwig and Representative Kurtz authored a bill establishing an agriculture exports program designed to increase exports by 25% across all commodities by 2026. The bill gained fast bipartisan support in both the Assembly and Senate and was signed into law by the governor. Since the program's inception, dairy exports alone have already increased by 22% over this time in 2022. That's a great start with even more work yet to be done. Both Senator Balwig and Representative Kurtz supported DBA efforts to ensure accurate labeling for plant-based dairy imitators, and Senator Balwig acted within the first month of the legislative session to pass all three labeling bills through the Senate Agriculture Committee. Senator Balwig and Representative Kurtz have been strong advocates for the burgeoning Dairy Innovation Hub, funding for producer-led watershed groups, and the promotion of sensible water quality efforts that recognize the work farmers do already by incorporating sustainability tools into their practices. Senator Balwig and Representative Kurtz have an open door policy and they are always leaning in to learn how they can help. And both are quick to point out legislative efforts that would have a negative impact on producers and dairy affiliated businesses. Please help me congratulate 2021-2022 legislative champion, Senator Joan Balwig, Thank you, another salad plate for the collection. So appreciate it, appreciate it very much. Um, agriculture is something that has been a big part of my life, not growing up in, uh, in rural areas, but being in um, rural Wisconsin. Uh, actually, I saw a couple um, John Deere caps out there. I really appreciate the support. Uh, in our uh, farm equipment business, uh, I get a chance to talk with a lot of uh, actual production folks, uh, have an open door not only here in the capital, but when I'm back in the, back in the district. We're going to move forward uh, with supporting things like the agricultural exports and those investments, the um, continue on with our milk producers program, and anything that we can think of with your help and with uh, uh, the help of um, your organization as a great partner in moving these things forward. Agriculture has been a real bipartisan effort here in the Wisconsin legislature and Wisconsin government. I don't see any reason why that isn't going to continue. So thank you very much for this recognition, but it's uh, uh, really close to my heart that we can continue uh, making progress and, and even growing our dairy industry and our agriculture industry in Wisconsin uh, to the next level. So thank you so much. You. 
And please help me congratulate 21-22 legislative champion, Representative Tony Kurtz. Well, thank you very much. This is quite the honor. I, I told Chad I had like a 10 to 15 minute speech and he about flipped out. So I'll, I'll keep it very short. Um, this is quite an honor, but I, there's a, a good friend of mine. He's my senator from my area. His name's Senator Howard Markline. And Senator Markline is actually the co-chair of the Joint Finance Committee. I'm very proud to call him uh, my senator, but also my friend. And there's something that he always says when we meet with folks. He says, you know, if you are not at the table, you are on the menu. And basically what that means is you have to advocate for what you want. Regardless if you've got a Republican that is your senator or your representative, or if you have a Democrat that's your senator or representative, take the time to educate them on what you do and the value that you bring to our state. I cannot stress that enough. Your voice matters, and make it heard loud and clear. Thank you very much. So. Tonight, we also get to celebrate two longtime friends of dairy and agriculture in our state. While both are leaving the legislature, each has made numerous contributions in supporting and promoting Wisconsin's dynamic dairy community. Don Vrewink grew up on a dairy farm in Auburndale in central Wisconsin. He worked on his family farm, his uncle's farm, and his grandfather's farm as a way to help pay, for, pay his way through college. During his three terms as Assembly District 43 representative, Don served on the Assembly Agriculture Committee, Rural Development Committee where he served as ranking minority member, and he was appointed to serve on the Governor's Dairy Task Force 2.0 in 2018. Don is a proud member of the Dairy Business Association, and during his tenure as representative, he has welcomed every opportunity to speak with our members, share his views, and engage in problem solving. Most recently, Don shared his vision for a vibrant dairy community of the future as a legislative panelist at DBA's Dairy Day at the Capitol in 2022. Don, an avid supporter of DBA and our priorities, was an important voice in his caucus on such issues as truth in labeling, establishment of the Dairy Innovation Hub, and Whole Milk for Healthy Kids. During the 2021 and 2022 legislative session, Don was a pivotal proponent in his caucus for the establishment of a new agriculture exports program that passed overwhelmingly, was signed into law, and has already been a resounding success. In 2020, Don worked with Allison Dairyland to visit five agriculture oper operations in one township alone. His work with Alice made a real impression on her as she took the lessons learned and carried the dairy story throughout the state. As a legislator, Don brought attention to dairy and farming by attending as many June dairy breakfasts as humanly possible. He promoted dairy breakfasts throughout the district with his annual June Dairy Month newspaper column and throughout his tenure, he highlighted farms in his district who were participating in the month-long celebration. One of Don's proudest accomplishments was organizing several tours of dairy operations to help promote knowledge and understanding of modern dairy farms and the practices they employ to ensure environmental stewardship and sustainability. Don has never passed up an opportunity to promote dairy farmers and their hard work in supporting our state's economy. While Don is no longer in the state legislature, he's made a lasting impact and continues to champion Wisconsin agriculture and dairy wherever he goes, and he remains a proud member of DBA. Please join me in congratulating former State Representative Don Vrewink on a job very well done. Well, thank you everybody for this award. And even though I didn't farm, after I, left, uh, after I left college, I became a teacher. And I will tell you today, I taught seventh graders, now that I'm not in the assembly. So at 71, my energy still exists uh, to teach seventh graders. And I tell you, that's a major task. And I wanna tell all of you that take the young people that you know 
and tell them the significance of agriculture. I try to sub as much in agricultural programs as I can because I am the person I am because of growing up on a farm. And it, it taught me a lot of values. And I believe if we can give those to young people, we're gonna create a better society. We have many young people that I see are lost on what they wanna do and where they're going. And we need you to help them find that. When I teach ag, I tell them about all the opportunities and all the people I meet in my, in my travels and in, in my time in the legislature and what opportunities there are for them because I want them to have the same thing that you people have. Growing up on a farm, being a dairy farmer is a wonderful experience. And, and I believe if every kid could have a chance to spend a week on a farm, we would have a much better America. So continue to do what you're doing and thank you for this award. And I will continue to promote dairy and agriculture as long as my health allows. So thank you very much. Gary Tauken was born in Rice Lake in 1953. Following a family move, he graduated from Bondewell High School in 1971. He received a bachelor's degree in animal science from UW River Falls in 1976. Gary is a true dairy champion. He is himself a dairy farmer and co-owns Tauken Harmony Valley in Bondewell. He has seen his small family farm grow from 60 to 1,200 cows over his lifetime. Gary is a member of both the Dairy Business Association and Wisconsin Farm Bureau. Over the course of his career, Gary has served dairy interests in many professional capacities, including director of Badger AgVest, a member of the Professional Dairy Producers of Wisconsin, National Dairy Herd Improvement Association, Shawano County Dairy Promotions, and Gary is a former director and chairman of the Wisconsin Livestock Identification Consortium. Gary is former vice chairman of Cooperative Resources International, former chairman of Ag Source Cooperative Services, and the UW Center for Dairy Profitability. Gary was elected to the Wisconsin Legislature in 2006 and continued to serve Assembly District 6 as state representative until his retirement in 2023. During his time in the legislature, Gary served on many important committees, including workforce development, state and local finance, rural economic development and rural affairs, jobs in the economy, international trade and commerce, international affairs and commerce, biofuels and sustainable energy, energy and utilities, state affairs and tourism, and Gary also served as chairman of several different committees, including agriculture. Gary truly believes the most effective government policy is based on common sense, should expand opportunities for people, and lead to a better quality of life for all of us. Throughout his tenure in the legislature, Gary's door was always open and his job never ended at five o'clock. Some of my most productive conversations with Representative Tauken were in the office after 5 p.m. or on the phone from his farm in Bondwell. Gary's farm work ethic carried over to his role as representative and he truly led by example. Gary was the voice in the Capitol on dairy and agriculture issues for many years and members of the legislature sought out and respected his input. Please join me in congratulating retired state representative Gary Tauken on a job very well done. Unfortunately, Gary was unable to make the trip down tonight. He very much wanted to be with you all, and he did send me a text message about an hour ago and asked me to relay this message. I hope DBA continues to support people with agriculture backgrounds. We need people who understand our issues to represent us on the local, state, and federal level. Change is constant. Stay dairy strong. Thank you, Representative Tauken. And thank you.